Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to disable over-the-air updates on your Amazon Fire TV that has been rooted. It must be rooted. First thing you want to do is connect to your Fire TV using ADB. You should already know how to do this if you've been following my videos. After you connect to the Fire TV, you are going to type Shell and then hit Enter. Now at this point, you may or may not see the commands show up on the screen. So what I did just to be extra careful was type everything in with one finger so I made sure that I didn't misspell something and mess something up. So right now at this point, type in SU, then hit Enter. Go over to your Amazon Fire TV and grant super user access if you haven't already done this in the past. If you have done this, then it should automatically grant super user access. After that, you want to go ahead and type in PM space disable space com dot Amazon dot D C P and then you hit enter you may or may not get a message saying package com.amazon.dcp new state disabled in my case I did not get that message so the only way to test it out was to go over to the Amazon Fire TV and see if it worked so right now after you enter that you can go ahead and type in exit two times so that it will exit this command. Now we can go to the Amazon Fire TV, click on check for updates, and you should get this message saying system update error. That right there tells you that we have successfully disabled over the air updates. If for whatever reason you want to go back and enable over-the-air updates, all you have to do is go back to the shell command, hit enter, type in SU, hit enter, and then you type the command we, we did earlier, except this time you type enabled instead of disable. So after you do that, you hit enter, and then you can go ahead and type in exit two times to get out of the command. And when you go back to your Amazon Fire TV, click on check for updates. It should be back to normal. And this will update automatically if there's a new update. So I highly recommend that you disable the updates if you want to keep your root. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hit the like button if you found it helpful. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.